Okay, so welcome back to Blackjack. I, uh, heh, I did some sound checks and I did an update on my computer that should help, um, at least that's what it said about the page fault in default area or unpaged area or whatever it is, the page faults that are the error message I get when my computer crashes. So anyway, though, I hope that that helps. Nah. Okay. <clears throat> Been looking forward to this. For iOS, Android, and Fire OS. The game's leg I'm getting kind of shit quality right now. I do baby, not have a Subaru or I want a Subaru. I want no car. Robots now by clicking the link okay, the now I'm getting better and quality. And get a huge starter pack that contains a GI patent robot with a unique skin. Four Punisher machine guns, 100 gold, and 400,000 silver. This is meaningless to me. <clears throat> Emotions can be powerful things. Uh, we're really gonna talk about feelings and crying and stuff. Well, yes, and how they fuel some pretty powerful magic. My galactic necklace. Like with Raven, Anyone the else think Cyrus might be an empath? From the Teen Titans. And Twilight Sparkle, empath. the I'm magical prodigy from My Little Pony. Yep, really doing this again. Oh, He's come on, Boomstick. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find dad? out who would win a death battle. There we go. I'm fighting her in a library. A strong emotion can drastically change a person. Fear can trigger instincts necessary for survival. I once Anger moved an entire bookshelf. For incredible feats of strength. I was like 13. And for this itty looking chick in a wicked cloak, that's kind of her thing. Yep. This is Raven. From the day Raven was born in her home dimension of Azerath, she wasn't the most <laughs> popular girl around. Yeah, it's not exactly a good sign when right as you're bored, the sky turns black and the whole world suddenly smells like farts. See, Raven is the daughter of a human She's mother and a fearsome she always demon being small. who is literally made again, up of hatred. On the cartoon. Because of her heritage, Raven's own mental state holds the key to a fearsome inner power. She I didn't even know she had a, a mage who can sense, create, and manipulate emotions. So her powers are all about feelings and stuff? That's pretty lame. Tell that to her when she scrambles your brain, or forces you to feel so greedy you steal from your boss. Oh, you don't <laughs> need to convince me to do that. Wait, what? Steal uh, his power? I nice. Mean, yeah, that's pretty intense. But hey, she's got a lot more deadliness packed away under that cool cloak. <sighs> when she was 18 years old, Raven met her father for the first time. See, and she's smaller. Uh, didn't ah, go that very well. Yeah, that. Demon Dad shot her mom with a grandma laser. That pissed off Raven so much, she finally let loose. This shadowy figure is her soul self. An nice, extension nice. of her spirit and manifestation of the powers inherited from Triga. Raven often wields it as her primary means of offense and defense. So that's what she looks like, but she's own. not. I wish I had a pet bird that could do with the soul. My body is man. unconscious, but this my soul is fly. ready. Use its eyes and ears, or Raven, just Raven, punch Raven, people Raven. like a big old battering bird. It can drain the energy and powers of others, and also serves as a sort of pocket dimension, which Raven can trap a limited number of foes and objects within. Talk about convenient, but she can do way more. She can mm. levitate, teleport, heal others. So what can they... can they do anything while they're in there? That's gonna be interesting. There's cast energy you know, shields, phase through walls, and blast people. Empath magic. So does that go with what they were saying earlier? Yeah. Athena's not with me because when I tried to pick her up, she bit. Telekinesis sounds good. Mystic arts. You're going to have to elaborate on that. Soul self. Okay. Molded into constructs. So she always has a golem with her then, huh? But okay. there is one be. drawback. To wield oh, her power, Raven must eyes. embrace emotion. And too much emotion risks opening her mind to Trigun's corruption. When she gives mm -hmm. in to her darker side, her entire personality changes. Nice. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? I surrender! Under a new persona, appropriately named Dark Raven. 
Dark Raven is stronger, tougher, oh, and freakier than your everyday sure. Raven. She can shoot lasers from her eyes, disintegrate stuff with her hand beams, and shapeshift. And her soul self is so powerful, it can wipe most people off the face of the earth in an instant. Nice. However, Dark Raven's incredible most capabilities are people. a double-edged sword. By tapping into her father's demonic powers, she risks transporting Trigon himself to the living realm, kickstarting oh, devastation my. across the universe. Kickstarting? I wonder what the tier rewards are like for that. Pledge 20 bucks and get an autograph from Satan. Thankfully, she has been able to Let's free herself from tax. Dragon's control, granting her unlimited That's access so to her tall. own magical abilities. Sometimes she even wears white to celebrate the occasion. Or is that just for her wedding with Beast Boy? Oh, wait, that never happened. Oh. These comic books reboot way too often for any relationships to actually have lasting consequences. Silly me. <laughs> Last but not least, there's Raven's Golden Form, a spiritual body free from Trigon's influence, which manifested after she turned evil and had to be killed by her friends. Hold on a second. She was looking up at Starfire, and if she's 5'11", how the hell tall is Starfire? The Teen Titans. Oh. That's messed up. It happens a lot, actually. Anyway, Raven's accomplished plenty of incredible feats. In the same continuity, She's though? steel girders with her magic. Probably. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, what does that say on the top? Curse, my battery's running low. Ugh! Of course it is! Help lift Titan's island. Hmm. Help pull an escaping spaceship. That strikes me as something that wouldn't really be hard to do. Um... Uh, predicted and dodged the sniper bullet. Ugh, I thought I had more battery than this. Okay. Flew between the earth and moon. Um, yeah. Um, how fast, though? Or is that not going to be an issue here? Shielded a city from a tidal wave. Sounds good. Defeated Trigon. Bro brother, brother blood and head case. I only know who Trigon is. One shot her seven deadly sins. Tough now getting once. thrown butt first into a brick wall so hard it broke. The wall, not, not her butt. And even helped Terra, a fellow Titan, raise the- Hang on a second. <laughs> Indestructible butt attacks. Um, uses emotion to tap into her powers. She could go up against Princess Peach. Teen Titans headquarters and the island it's on. Terra alone was barely able to stop the island's descent, and together they pushed it back up to its rightful place. Nice, This nice. means Raven lifted more than half of the island's weight. The Titans Tower Island is similar in location and size to Alcatraz, which has a width of 559 yards. It seems Assuming smaller, the most likely granite composition least... and accounting for a 30% hollow interior, Raven's energy output would need to be about 14 million megawatt hours. <clears throat> That's enough energy to power all of New York City for over three years. Raven's cool. soul self can survive 30,000 anyway, feet like below the, the surface of the ocean with no problem. Them. That's almost 14,700 pounds per square inch. 42 times the PSI needed to crack most bones. And it's tough enough to survive But you know, even if it's enough kilowatt hours to power New York for one year, that's still very, very impressive. As from aliens that hurt Donna Troy, who can survive moon-busting attacks? The villain Sparta's lasers could disintegrate people in an instant, which requires nice. nearly 3 billion joules of energy. And Raven's soul self powered through several of these blasts and held together. The soul nice. self is also stupidly fast. It once flew from New York City to Blue Valley, Nebraska, and back in less than five minutes. The distance between those cities is 1,166 miles as the crow, or Raven, flies. To make you just know someone from Blue Valley Raven's is watching going, must have Whoa! flown more than 36 times the speed of sound. Not impressed? Well, when she was golden, Ghosty Raven, she flew between the Earth and Moon like it was nothing. So, plenty of impressive feats, but unfortunately, oh, that Raven's powers have daunting and often costly limits. When the Soul Self takes damage, Raven feels the pain herself. Mm -hmm. She's kinda like a glass cannon, and overtaxes her own abilities pretty Does she frequently. feel equal? But don't disregard this as only mere physical ineptitude. When Raven utilizes emotions in combat, she tackles that emotion head-on. The more negative the emotion, the more pain she feels. 
And don't forget, she's also struggling not to feel so Satan doesn't show up. With all that going on at once, it's no wonder she passes out sometimes. Jeez, but Cyrus, with the help you have of her friends and her adoptive Azerathian family, Raven eventually overcame Trigon's iron grip and defeated him. Yeah, you'd think a guy like Trigon would think twice before messing with someone as powerful as Raven. No! You stay away from me! You demon filth! They're not demons. Let me show you one. Azerath, Metrion, Zinthos! Nice! <clears throat> High above Hi, the peaceful ponies. Ponies, the city of Canterlot rests among the mountaintops. There, a young filly had dreams as big as Canterlot Castle itself. Her name yep, how big was is that? Twilight Sparkle. Ah, here we go again. Oh, we Boomstick, come on, you got into it. The sound barrier and one that breaks physics. So, what crazy powerful thing can this one do, Wiz? All your horses, Boomstick. We're merrily out of the gates. Ugh. Bring it in, Wiz. Your lame puns are busting with my script. Little Twilight wanted to learn magic at Princess Celestia's school for goodness. Those universe. are some. After a very uh, those are some small ponies. Four foot. Well, I mean, I know that's. I don't know. Here. Well, see, I'm five six. Should be like here. But still, you know, you think for the whole society. But you know, I guess that makes sense if. Ponies, ponies, ponies. <laughs> Bleh. Former unicorn turned alicorn. That means she has wings, right? Has she read all of those books? Likes flashcards way too much. You can never like Eventful flashcards too much. Exam, she didn't just get accepted into the school. Yeah. She became Celestia's protege. Which is kind of a big deal, since Celestia is pretty much pony god of the sun. Not only that, Twilight also earned her cutie mark. Oh, I remember those. It's that magical tramp stamp a pony gets when they grow up. Uh, close enough. Twilight's cutie mark symbolized her life's calling. Specifically, her... Would a pony tramp stamp be above the butt? Or would it be, like, on the stomach? Destiny in mastering the art of magic. Flame? This peppy purple pony called? wasted no time and hit the books to practice hard. No By way the time the she was an adult, she'd read her entire collection of 20,000 books. Ooh. What a nerd. Boomstick, have you ever read a book before? Do gun manuals count? Sure, why not? Oh, there we go. Twilight learned all sorts of- Okay, so 20,000 books. See, here's the thing. By the time you're an adult, I don't think that's that much. But then I used to read everything I got my hands on, including full encyclopedias, and I never really saw the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Powerful and useful magic. She knows so many spells it would take well over an hour to describe them all. Her memory is so okay. crystal clear she can recall a complex spell after a mere glance. But here's some highlights. Cool. She can move stuff with her mind, shoot concussive energy blasts, raise magic shields, and like actually fire cause a concussion. She can manipulate gravity, ignite things on fire, freeze others in place, walk on clouds, and even master they, the transfiguration spell. As a filly, she turns not her just own transfiguration she the harnesses. Talk about weird. She's even transformed a single apple into a nest of bird eggs. Which, uh, hatched somehow. She is great, life. Yeah, but Twilight's well, magic doesn't just alive. stem from her vast knowledge of spells but, and history. Yeah, she changed In the world of My life. Little Pony, magic is drawn from and controlled by a unicorn's emotions. Oh, here comes the touchy-feely stuff. The stronger a unicorn feels about something or someone, the stronger their magic What the hell is that? Well, I've always found magic is tied to my emotions. Whatever I'm feeling fuels whatever I'm doing. And the stronger I'm feeling, the stronger the magic. Across she put Equestria, that as her own Twilight observation. Sparkle is one of the few ponies to master the most powerful magic Rather than of all. That applies the to magic us. of friendship. Nice. Okay, Wiz, I know a metaphor when I see it. Isn't a night out with the girls so magical? Oh, no, 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 that's not it at all. In truth, friendship is the only weapon powerful enough to defeat Equestria's most dangerous enemies. What? They weaponized friendship? Nice. Awesome. Hey, Wiz, you're, you're my best buddy. I your friends forever. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> Where are the friendship lasers? Get off me. <laughs> oh, yeah, upside. I didn't... I slipped. Um, 
Twilight's <laughs> friendship magic is at its most powerful there wasn't any when focused through the no, elements of harmony. When used together, these ancient artifacts are a near unstoppable force, even capable of overpowering the villain Tyrek after he stole Twilight's powers along with the rest of the questions. Twilight's crown with her personal element contains a powerful magic in its own right, enough to literally change the fabric of reality in another dimension with its mere presence. And of course, we gotta talk about those wings of hers. She was born a unicorn, but after completing an ancient spell about, what else, friendship, she transformed into an alicorn. A mix between a unicorn and a pegasus, and the strength and a of an earth to sell just a whole ton more merchandise. Yep. It's a good thing too. Alicorn magic is leagues more powerful than a plain unicorn's, and Twilight needed the extra boost to defend Equestria as its newest princess. Like when she fought that Tyrek guy. After Tyrek absorbed the magic from Equestria's entire population, Twilight Including was forced to defend Discord. herself wow. while wielding the power of four alicorns. <laughs> Where did it become Dragon Ball Z with baby girl horse toys? Anyway, check out how dear it was. <coughs> Twilight straight into this mountain, and she was totally fine thanks to her magic shield. By comparing Twilight's apparent size just before impact to her actual size of approximately 4 feet tall, we can estimate the distance she was thrown to be about 145 feet. Tyrek then closed this distance at 64.5 miles per hour. Combined with his estimated weight of over 31,000 pounds, Twilight's shield had to stand up What's to over 8 million newtons of force. Estimation. You know what? Forget it. I'm on board with this Modi stuff. Seems a raven could break that Twilight shield. Twilight is tough enough to survive bombardment by anvils and pianos, fast enough to fly over 300 miles per hour okay. without using any spells. Carried a 4.5 ton boulder, that's not even close to the... Titan Island. Surviving the fall of Anvil and Piano. Yeah, that's pretty standard cartoon fare. Uh, telekinetically lifted a 340-ton bear. Again, that doesn't stand up to the Titan Island feat. Uh, 300 miles per hour. That doesn't stand up to the feat of going to Nebraska and back. Uh, equal to all of Equestria's citizens. Now that does sound more powerful than Raven. And even strong enough to lift and carry a rock weighing four and a half tons. Her telekinesis oh, is strong physical. enough to lift a 340 ton bear and even uproot this giant flower tree thing. And with the other alicorn's magic, uh, she can move the sun and the moon. Uh, okay, yeah, friendship is. powers way better than expected. However, if Twilight has one glaring weakness, uh, it's her unwavering neurosis. A uh, magical star sign. Oh, you mean how she's obsessed over staying organized, and if one small thing goes wrong, she totally loses it? Yes. She has a, well, difficult time dealing with unexpected stress. More often than not, she even makes bad situations worse before starting to fix it. I live with, like, the hey, when push out comes to show, Twilight Sparkle pulls her weight and more. You have no magic! You're wrong, t -Rex. I may have given you my alicorn magic, but I carry within me the most powerful magic of all. The magic... Sweet. That looks like she did that with all the All right, the, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, prepare your loins for me undies. Mm, well, at least it's In a not... world plagued by despair, darkness, and terrible underwear, there's this only one company apron, we yeah. trust to keep the balance of style and comfort. MeUndies.com, makers of the best pair of underwear. Okay. Death battle! Okay, um, it looks like Raven is more powerful. Um, and scrappier. And has greater defensive capabilities. So, Twilight, um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be the first pony to lose a battle. Huh, <sighs> although this would make it win, lose, and draw. So, yeah, hmm. Sorry, an emotion-based battle. Just, you know how big of a Team Galactic fan I am. That's why I showed my necklace. Mm. I do actually kiss that necklace. What can I say? <laughs> Emotions only cause pain, right? <laughs> mm. until death banishes them forever. <laughs>
the Twilight Winds, they're gonna have to explain it really well. Transdimensional teleportation? Let's give it a try. <laughs> With a cannon. You saw nothing. her voice, but I like Twilight's voice. I want to do a voice for this series! Let me do a voice for this series! I can't really tell what's happening. Uh, to, be, to be honest. I want it. I need it. It's mine. You just had to stop, didn't you? you? Just sapped her emotions, or no, I guess not. What was that color? Okay, I don't understand.